Welcome to Howie Mandel Does Stuff. I'm Howie Mandel. I'm Jacqueline Schultz, his daughter. Today's a twofer, Jackie. Today we get, uh, we knew that Ginger Billy was coming in, but we didn't know because I requested, if you watched the live last week, I told you I, uh, I was wishing. And sometimes when you wish upon a star, the star shows up. Dana White, you are an amazing guy. You are, I can't thank you enough for being here. Uh, you and Ginger seem to be getting along. Um, you are not only an amazing businessman, you are an inspiration, you are a philosopher. The way you do business, the way you uh, conduct your business and your friendships and media is, uh, I'm, I'm jealous. And But Dana, I can't thank you enough for being here. Thank you. For all the kind words, I appreciate it. I, I am so fucking tired of doing podcasts. It's I, I'm literally done with them. I'm not doing any more podcasts. We have a an illustrious guest from uh, the middle of the no the other side of the country, South Carolina. Yes, sir. East Coast. That's the East Coast. Yes, the East Coast. Yes, sir. I could tell by the accent. And when you say East Coast, New York City from New York City. <laughs> yeah. They'll believe that. Yeah, Ginger Billy, Ginger Billy, who has how, how many? Uh, you got a lot of followers on YouTube. Well, yes, sir. That's, that's one of my. I ain't trying to brag. That's one of my smaller platforms. I have your stats here. Oh, it's oh, impressive. Oh, okay, wow. Do, do, read the stats out okay. loud. I don't have it pulled up. Well, Hold go, on. go ahead, you brag. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, uh, just r right at six and a half, almost six point six million on Facebook. Mm -hmm. On uh, Facebook, yes, sir. Wow, right? That's yes, what sir. I have. Mm -hmm. You're correct. I'm go a ahead. Facebook OG. That's where I started. Yeah. Um, TikTok. I'm at seven point two million. So yep. you dance? Are you a dancer? I, I no, no, sir. Not one dance <laughs> has gotten me any of those followers. Actually, right. I did the WAP dance. I, I did the uh, Cardi B. That's the one you decided to do out of all of them? Out of all of them. Wet-ass so, pussy? Uh, yeah, yes. Yep. My that's, that's my daughter that mm -hmm. just pointed out what the Hence. acronym was for. Mm -hmm. Hence. Oh. The pussy. With a cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah you that's are. true. We, we brought the, the OG wet-ass pussy himself. <laughs> Man, the father-daughter relationship. I love it. Yeah. Isn't it great? It is. Yeah, it I, is a beautiful I, I, thing. It is. She's smart. She knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So that's, you got 7 million, 6 million, one and a half. We play this on YouTube. YouTube than, is 1.58 is the we don't stat have, I got. We only have 180,000 or almost 200,000 yeah. on YouTube. I'm going to take a wild stab here and say you're a little more known by just 180,000 people, though. Her, well, you, you know, that's worse, though. He's well known, but no one wants to subscribe and follow. I, I, I so can that say might hint. be worse. Yeah. <laughs> <It's a hint. laughs> I was like, we know you. Mm, not not going to subscribe. So, <laughs> and you do stand up comedy, yes, sir. Uh, you also are a um um. Would would you call yourself an inventor? Uh, so of sorts, yes, sir. Um, I am a, a redneck engineer, if you'd like to call a it that. redneck engineer. But you yes, are sir. working on really usable. Pro like, what are you working on right now? Um, right now, I'm actually working on a miniature army tank. Um, that we are building, but I have I have built uh, a lawnmowers out of vehicles, out of cars, uh, which if you think about it, in the middle of the summer, you don't want dust. You want to be in the air condition, mm -hmm. listening to the radio. Got you a drink, so I turned a little Ford Festiva into a lawnmower. Is that, that is that online right now? Yes, sir. Let's yes, sir. look at that. I want to yes, see sir. the Ford Festiva. What would we look up? Wait, for? and you can buy that? Are you like building stuff to have patents to, and like license these ideas and sell them or just for you? This is one of one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's like safety uh, standards that would never be met uh, in my creation. So, But yes. it's a lawnmower. What, what is the, do you think it's dangerous to uh, turn a uh, Ford Fiesta into a lawnmower? Everything I build is dangerous. Um, there are no, you know, OSHA is not around or anything like that to give me any guidelines. We just want it? it to operate properly. So we're looking at this right now, this thing that's that's driving up. Uh, is no, that that's a lawnmower? That's my car I turned into a truck. Uh, go oh. on down. <laughs> I love I that. I love the fact yes. that our crack crew can't tell the difference between yeah. a fucking yeah. lawnmower and a truck. <laughs> there it is right there. There what, we that, are. Oh, we that, live in L.A. There oh, it that. is. That's a Ron oh, that's beer. that's cool. Yes. Wait. Did you say a Ron Deere? A Ron Beer. A that's Ron what I Beer named it. Yes. instead of a John Deere? Yes, that way I wouldn't get any trademark. Uh, check out my new lawnmower. Now, this ain't no regular lawnmower, okay? This 
is a Ron beer. I love and you know it. What they say. I love Nothing this. Yes, sir. Like a beer. Yep. You for sure want one, don't you, Dad? I do want one. You don't one. even mow your own lawn. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it works. Oh, it works. It works. Uh, we did not have a thing to adjust the deck. So it, to adjust the what? The what? The the what? The, the, the deck. <laughs> oh. Yes. Because I was going to have them pull up some deck picks. Yes. Well, but I, they don't have any. I know in my shorts you were probably thinking I said something else. <laughs> I did. Yes. She did. She did. I she did. said well, well, we That's know where my that daughter is at right now. She knew what WAP was. She knows what deck is. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So what do you mean to adjust the deck? Okay. So your deck is, of course, the thing that cuts the grass. It's got of the course. blades in it. And we didn't have the ability to raise it up and down, so we just set the back end of the vehicle onto the deck, and it cut. Uh, the thing is, it cut so low that you basically didn't have any grass left uh, once you went around. So See, as somebody who shaves their head, it was set up, you, got, you have your lawnmower set on a zero or yes. a one. Yes, sir. Once you cut once, you're done for the year because you're basically down to dirt. You know what this reminds me of, actually? My I don't. brother built something, a couch, a couch on wheels. That that's impressive. Yeah, yes. you want to see that? Yes, I do. And he let he let me out. Put up uh, Alex's. I think that my brother, uh, my uh, my son, and you have a lot in common. I yeah. know you were talking. You before guys are that. like the same person. You really are. Yeah. You're both into. Uh, maybe you don't want to talk about it, but weapons. He creates weapons. Yes. He creates. This is Alex's. Uh, he took. I like, he likes sitting on the couch and gaming and things like <laughs> yes. that. So that's Alex right there. And he's here. He's actually here in the room. But um, I don't, there he is. There he is. <laughs> there, there. He's, uh, why take the bus when you could take your own couch? <laughs> why walk? <laughs> and that's him. And who's on the couch with you, Alex? Probably the, Andrea. Is that it's Andrea? Always Andrea. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He'd say, come on over. We'll just sit on the couch and, uh, Look there at he the is, looks. The looks as he drives by in the couch. What is the operating mechanism for that? That is very impressive. Alex? Uh, re, uh, just uh, silliness? Yes. Yeah. That is it. That's, yeah. it's, it the, the operating mechanism for everything he comes up with is, sec, is, uh, is I think he, he mounted it on a... Um, on a wheelchair. I feel like these two <laughs> inventions, though, could be sold on thisiswhyimbroke.com. Uh, you know the thisiswhyimbroke.com? I feel no. like this couch and your... Not John Deere. Ron, Ron Beer. Beer yes, could be sold on there. Yes, yes I, I, I've done many things. I, I actually created my own little mini Tesla uh, truck. You know, at first when they were talking about, uh, this was before they even came out, which I've seen that they were out like last couple of days, but I took a golf cart mm -hmm. and turned it to an actual Tesla truck. Tesla. Yes. A Tesla truck. Yes. Let's see that. Yes. Let's see that. So I'm going to, and then I'll show you something else that my son made after this. Well, it's the war of the, uh, <laughs> yes, the war of the invention. So you we came up like... with the, you came up with the Tesla before Elon. <gasps> yes. Yeah, see, there we are. Oh. If I, there it is. Well, that's amazing. I want that. Look at that, there. That's like a, like a, sh uh, like, um, wow. Yes, that's, and it looks just like it. It's <laughs> cool. Now, this ain't one of them regular old dash guzzling trucks. Oh, no. This truck here is full-on electrical. Runs off of 4,000 AA batteries. Wow. This is my Tesla Cyber. And see, I spell everything it different. Tesla. Tesla. Yeah, because you don't want to get sued. No, sir. No, sir. That's, I figured that's I the way around I think that's smart. That. I see the legalese yeah. in this. Yes, and if you threw a rock, there's no window, so it's not going to break. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you can see my airbag. I saw it with a pillow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is there a pillow? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. It's, yeah. so, it's so you can gently ram your head into the steering wheel. It's, uh, yes. It's, it's much wow. better than a red. And where do all these vehicles exist? Like, where do you... Uh, Facebook. What are you showing it? What is that stain that you're pointing that at? Is pointing a, that's at? a burnout. Okay? That's from the horsepower of the vehicle. <laughs> It is? Yes. I, to I me, it just chunk. looks like a wet... It looks like that's where the <laughs> WAP landed. That's what 36-volt batteries will do for you right there. A little different than your Tesla vehicle you probably drive. You I probably do, have I a do drive power. a Tesla. Yes. Yeah. You know, today is my first day ever driving an electric vehicle out here in California. And well, you just... What, what, what do well, you say? Well, besides that, I, uh, you know, like I'm actually operating an electric vehicle. What, what, what do you, do you what, think? What are you operating? And then things will fly. Hmm? I what? mean, I, f I feel like I'm in NASCAR out here on the L.A. freeway. Oh, you have a Tesla? Is that what you're riding? It's a, called a Polestar. I don't know that one. A Polestar. Oh, yeah, the one the one that... Yes. The, yeah. Yes. That thing. Yes. <laughs> and is it fast? It's, sorry. You it don't is. know what I'm doing if you're just listening, but I know what you yeah. what it is. I'm doing she's it. She's exercising the demons. A, uh, what you're doing is you're telling them they're losers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you're making that's the L. Well, you were doing an L, too. No, it's like a star, like a... 
You're not doing it. You're not doing it. Uh, Well, you don't have to. It's as good. Even if you watch this, it's equally (laughs) as good if you're listening to this. But Same. anyway, um, what I was, so you're driving it, and then are you going to take it home and turn it into something else? I would love to, but it's a rental, so I have to take it back to the airport. But it has given me some ideas. I, I never knew those cars. I'm, your car go fast? Yeah. It, it accelerates very fast? Yeah. Yes. Because uh, with gas, it's not like step, uh, with, with gas, when you step on the gas, the, the more the flow of gas or the harder you step on it, the faster it goes, whereas with electricity it's like a light switch as soon as you touch the gas it goes yes i would have to buy new tires every week for that vehicle well you would leave a lot of stains yes i would that. i would stain it up that's always stains bother me <laughs> if they're not moist i don't mind i, I mind moist yeah, he's stains. touching it he's touching the I stain too. yeah why would you put your finger on the road well i mean you know i've touched dirtier things <laughs> what's the dirtiest thing you've ever touched i worked in the medical field for 13 years you were a respiratory therapist. Yes, sir. What is yes, the sir. weirdest, most icky moment that you had? The most icky moment. Okay, so I, w- I was in a patient's room, mm-hmm. and I was cleaning what is called a tracheotomy. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's you know, so they have to breathe the through. The hole in their throat. The hole in their throat. Yes, and as I was suctioning it out, I pulled the catheter out, and the catheter had secretions on the end of it, and it flicked, and all of a sudden I saw something hanging from my eyebrow, my eyelash, and it was human snot and i not yours it was not mine it was not that's but probably, it becomes yours yes it is it, it was part of me um, sharing is caring yes uh so to say i had the worst case of pink eye i've ever had in my life after that it was uh, a lot of antibiotics you know really you did you get eye? did you get pink eye yes 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 i got i got uh it was it was swolled up it was nasty so gross what are you glad you asked God? not so much yeah <laughs> I, I can only imagine what Jeremy is right there. Jeremy produces is I can only imagine what the imagery was on this. We don't see the imagery until you watch it, mm-hmm. but he'll add. Good. Yeah. Good. I want the world to see it. I want them to see what I saw. And that's why you said, you said, fuck this. I'm going to go get, get me a Ford Fiesta and I'm going to turn it into a lawnmower. <laughs> yes, sir. That's why I became an inventor. <laughs> I had to leave. So you no longer do the medical you're making a good living at this, I would imagine. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Are you married? Yes, sir. Uh, and yes, sir. What, what does she do? She is a nurse practitioner. Oh, so she still comes home with other people's snot on her. Yes, sir. Yes, she was a, a paramedic. Then she uh, became an RN, and now she is a nurse practitioner. Yes, I was a, uh, for b- before I got into this, I was a third responder. A third responder? Yeah. What is, what is, what is that? You know what a first responder is, right? Yes. So the, you call like 911, the first responders show up. Then when you see a fire engine or an ambulance or whatever show up and they're working on somebody, then uh, second responders, people will show up and gather around to see what's going on. I didn't know they were considered second responders. Well, I would show, after I saw a crowd in an ambulance, mm-hmm. I, would, I would show up thirdly mm-hmm. and ask the people, what, hey, what, what happened? So you watched. <laughs> what? You were a bystander. No, I, a third res- I think of myself as a third responder, and we get so little respect. You do. We really do. You do. You just made. You uh, made but I've been. Bad. I've been at so many uh, accidents and uh, happenings, and uh, and I get there like 15, 20 minutes after. You are the third responder. You've been a third responder my whole life. You know how? <laughs> you know, I think well, what a third responder. This is how responder, I find out she's not actually my daughter. <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm I, here for this. I, what I think a third responder is, is mm-hmm. when you're not supposed to go respond. Right. And you do anyway. So I've every time trouble. there was like a fire yeah. or something happening where they're right. like, everyone evacuate, get out. He would put his kids and everyone in the car and say, let's go. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at it and yeah. see what's going on. So you don't so. have to pay to get into an amusement park or anything like that. We would just follow you yeah. and Alex. Yeah, Alex I can't tell you how many times as a little kid he would throw us all in the car for an adventure where we came this close to death. Hey, look. From but was it not fun? Yes. So much You fun. have so many memories. I do. Possibly traumatic. Maybe. But a little well, bit. I yeah. left but a circus. Way cooler than Disney World. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's a it's a small world after all. Yes, and look, coming from a guy who lives in a super small town, mm-hmm. okay, I mean, you know, if something bad happens, everybody shows up. I mean, that's you know, you got to have something to talk about. For and then week. and then I show up. Yes, and then you're Thirdly. there, you know, and you're the hero. I don't know if I'm a hero, but I'm there. Yeah, 
I think just being there gives you uh, solace. It a gives sense you, of uh, yes, a sense of comfort. It's like a hug when you're there. Yeah. yeah. I, I love like, that you understand. He understands me more than you do. She yeah. has resentment since I left her at the circus. Well, Are you, you, uh, you, do you do stand up? I do, yes, sir. Yeah, and do you want to plug any of those? Days? Like, where are you be, be playing? Are you playing here in town? Uh, I actually was at the the Brea Improv last night. Yeah, mm -hmm. did you? Yes. How, what do you oh, think of the California that's crowd? A, that's a beautiful. Oh, hey, they 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 not from the city. They drove from outside the city. These wow. is country folk driving. How can you tell? You just look. You can tell by what they wear. Personality. You don't have to drive far. I think when people think of LA, they think of a certain kind of person. But we have, a, like, California is huge. And oh, we is. have a lot of farmland. We have a lot of people outside the city. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to go far outside of LA to find yes people that are not living in the city. Oh no, I agree. I mean, yeah. and there's country folk, rednecks everywhere too. Um, but no, it just there's good people everywhere. I mean, they were they were really cool people, you know. Um, but it was a. Uh, have you ever been to the Bray Improv? No. Man, that's a beautiful spot. No, I haven't been. Yeah, it's nice. Very you nice. You weren't I've, invited? Never there, been invited? No, I've, I've, I don't think I have. I, I don't think I have been invited. I wouldn't. Uh, uh, look at me performing somhow that you haven't. I, mm -hmm. I'll take that. More subscribers. He's invited <laughs> to different comedy yep. clubs that you've never yeah, been invited not, to. I don't know. I don't I don't know. And he's considered a first responder, and you're just third. Mm -hmm. No, his wife. Yeah. No, but You're he not. was too. I mean, yeah, he was too. Anyone uh, in yeah, the medical sir. field? I am, I am still licensed. I mean, you got to think. Ah, no. As a respiratory therapist, are you considered a first responder? Well, no. But if you dine, you wouldn't be mad for me to walk up on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'd imagine that more that people I would, would imagine want. somebody comes in from a first responder from the ambulance. Once they load them onto the ambulance, his wife loaded them onto the the EMT. Send them to a respiratory therapist. You're you're. No, I'm not technically a first responder, but if I'm walking down the sidewalk and somebody's choking on an apple, they ain't going to look at me and be like, no. Uh, uh, Has that know? ever happened? Have you ever done that? Have you ever saved somebody's life in the in the streets? Um, really? No, not about? necessarily. Not necessarily. I, I really the have The fact not. that you have to think about it. Like, yeah. I, I mean, like if I had saved somebody's life, like, man, did I save their life? No. Yeah. We, did I save their life? You know, I've saved so no. many that uh, I just... You like lost count. Yeah. You lost count. <laughs> kind of just, you know. <laughs> you're like a Marvel uh, hero. I am. But you have saved lives. Yeah, I ain't trying to brag, but at the hospital, yes, sir. Yes, definitely. But I've never done that. I've, I think that's amazing that I, there is nobody, there is not a soul in this world that is better off because I spent time with them. Oh, there's, that is absolutely wrong. You don't know how many people you've helped. I did help. I mean, I... I I'll just say this. Can you plug your ear for a minute? Take wow. off your headset. Okay. Just take over. I think that I created life because I put my my sperm <laughs> into her mother's WAP. Yes. And that's why she's here. Yeah. Yes. Look, you yeah, did, you a, put you did a wonderful you job, on. right? You can put it back on. So I don't know if I saved life as much as created. Just do not what re, do not rewatch this. Yeah, I don't want you to, I don't think you're old enough to know how no. this works. No. But I've talked to Alex, her brother, about the birds and the, uh, I never understood the birds and the bees. Have I, you ever seen a bird fucking a bee? Well, <laughs> I, I, I never understood the whole concept either. It, it never made sense to me why you would say birds and bees. Uh, and, and nobody ever told me. Alex? Alex? Uh, we're not sure where he's at. <laughs> My son left. He left. <laughs> he left. Well, he probably heard the whole talk me and you just had. And he just, he couldn't. He left? He bounced. Did my son leave? He might be on the phone somewhere. Yeah, that's good. That's Kyle. So he's Kyle. on a couch. Pardon me? He was on a couch in the back, riding around. I can go see if he's there. <laughs> I have no idea what they're He was on a couch riding, riding around. They're talking about the couch Whoa. that he powers. Well, somebody yeah. called 911. I was about and to say, I mean, we need a first responder. Gathers, I'll be there third. Yep. I'll be there third. I mean, I would go check on him, but we're not in a hospital environment, so I guess I can't really do anything right now. Wow. It's good to know that if somebody hocks a loogie through a hole in their chest into your eye, the worst case scenario is you end up with pink eye. Right? I mean, well, if I wouldn't have treated it, it might have been worse. I might be sitting here with a pirate patch on right now, you know. Really? You can lose an eye from that? Oh, dude, I am absolutely sure. Yes, sir. I mean, that's, you know, staphylococcus. Infection what? all up in what your eyeball. What did you say? Uh, Staphylococcus. <laughs> it had, yes, it has cock in it. Yes, Staphylococcus. 
The whole staff? Yes, all of them. Every single one of them. Oh, wow. We like to say, I have my kids in the room, Staphyla penis. That's like a UTI. If you don't treat that, that could be very dangerous too. Yes. Why are you talking to strangers about UTIs? <laughs> I'm saying it's like the same thing. You don't think it's really a yep. big deal, but if you don't, there treat he is. It, it I see my deal. son. There he is. What Take were you going to ask him? The birds and the bees. Did I talk to you about the birds and the bees? No. Oh, could you explain to him? So, how old are you, son? Thirty-four. Thirty-four. I'm thirty-six. This is go perfect, ahead. right? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I, we were talking about the concept of the birds and the bees. So, exactly how does that work? You know, you got a bird and you got a bee. These are two totally opposite animals. So. Do, do you know how it works? What what does the D, bee take its stinger and penetrate uh, the bird? Or my dad's never had this conversation. With me. I have no idea. I, well, that's uh, do ginger, you remember when you billy. said that your your penis is too much for a bird to handle? That is <laughs> wow. We have a T-shirt that says that. We have a T-shirt. Do we? What? Uh, yeah. oh, Why yeah. don't we sell those? Okay. I'm pretty sure that'd be a hot sales item. The shirt or my penis? No, the shirt. We can't sell your penis. Why are you talking to your penis? Go get the shirt. We should sell them. Um, what, what, uh, will you please explain to my son? Uh, there it is. I have more penis than a bird can handle. So he's Here, bring not, it out. We'll sell these. He's not like a bee. Go to HowieMandel.com. Oh, you're holding it on there. More there we go. Than a bird can handle. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? That is, that's beautiful. No and need for context. And you know what? Mm. I know this is unbelievable, but he's single. And he has that shirt. There's no way. There's no way that man is single with a shirt like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, bet he's got, I bet he's got children everywhere. Maybe. Alex, do you have children everywhere? I don't really know how that works. Oh, that's right, because somebody never explained it to him. Well, you're here. You and know that wiener you was talking about, right? Yes. Yes, so you take that and you, 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 know, uh, you insert it inside of a WAP. Do you know what a WAP is? Do we want, uh, do we want somebody to explain that? Yeah. Do you want me to do it again? Yes, you were good at it. White Anglo-Saxon Protestant. <laughs> yes. Wait, do I put that inside of the bird or inside of the bee? Well, the bee has a stinger. The bird has a pecker. So are they both technically... Are they both? Yeah, well, a pecker. Uh, beak, I know. Beak. So are they technically male? Both male? Is I mean... I, this is your discussion with my son. Go ahead. Well, Alex knows a lot about animals. He does. I'm, a, I'm an animal nerd, too. You know a lot about animals? I, I bet he knows more about animals than you. I'll Ooh. bet I challenge my son against Ginger Belly. Animal fact off. <laughs> fact off. Go Whoa. ahead. Fact animal off. fact off. Give it the most obscure Wait. fact you know. Go rock, paper, scissors to see who's going oh, first. Oh, crap. Ha. <sighs> Wait. Are you going Are you in going on this? Go no, fact you yourself. Go fact yourself. Go ahead. Let's go. <laughs> Are you going first? No, you go first. I'll get, I'm the visitor. I'll let you go first. I'm trying to think of one. Okay, I'll keep it on brand. Okay. Uh, the. Uh, Sheep, or I guess it's arguing the manatee has the most uh, human-like vagina. Okay, I don't really know why you would know that one. <laughs> what do you mean? Why, why, why do you think? Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll come. Yeah, no, obviously, obviously. I've, 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 okay, so a peregrine falcon flies at what about 180 miles an hour? Ooh, yes. Did you know that? Fastest animal in the world. I didn't know that. No. Okay. Did okay. you? But you didn't know the manatee yeah, had a human-like vagina. I, I did not. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Right back at you. Uh, dolphins only sleep with half their brain. That way they don't die because the other half stays awake so they know to come up for air. Oh, nice. All right. Did you know that a coyote, uh, not a coyote, a uh, hyena is not a dog? It's not a dog. Uh, yeah, it's yes, actually, it. hmm? What is it? Why? I, uh, it's his fact. I want to say it's more in the cat family, correct? Well, you can't ask. You I can't tell. remember. I just know it's not a dog. <laughs> well, you're down. I'm taking two. God I'm taking dang it. Point two off of, for you. Go ahead. How do I no. know he's not on Google right now? He's not. Look, hands free. I, well, you can do Google hands this, free. This is a this is a hard thing because there's just so many facts. My, did you know that um, only saltwater fish drink water? Freshwater fish, it just passes through them, but saltwater fish oh, yeah. you have to actively drink through the gills. So they can filter it through yes. the gills. Yeah. So the freshwater fish only use it for oxygen. Yep. Correct. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Yes. You guys both knew that one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. If we did. Wow. No, this is good. This is not a channel, but this is discovery. Yeah. Look, I mean, look at what we're giving the crowd right now. We're giving you. Know? you we're more, educating people. This is the most info info filled uh, episode like we we've ever do, had. I feel like we should do one more and let the audience decide at the end, like in the comments and stuff, who was the winner. 
Okay. Like who the one, was. one more. One more. Oh, one more each. Man. That wasn't my idea. Your sister. Sorry. Let me think. You want, you think. want to be let done and let them and let You them don't want to do now? You want to do any more? I'm yeah. trying. I, I, it's, it's hard on the spot because I have so many good ones. He, he's put on the spot, too. We put the guests yeah, oh on the yeah, spot. Dude, you know, I sit here and talk about how much I know, and now it's all blank. It's like, eh. I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a category, and then you, you do it. Insect. Boom. It's not quite an insect, but the toughest <laughs> animal known on this earth is pretty small and around a lot. And it's called a water bear. But you you could see it in your backyard. It lives around the moss, and you only really need ten times magnifying glass to see it. But what does it do? It's the toughest. It's considered the toughest animal on earth, and it's only that the water small. bear. The water bear. The water bear is the toughest animal on earth. It lives in your backyard around can we moss. Get a okay. And you could. Can we get a okay. water bear a picture? Put up a water bear. Okay. This is coming at you right now. I bet you like people who are listening oh, and watching this that. on YouTube. Yes, yes. I saw that on the magic school bus. Oh, on a what? The magic school bus. Yeah. Yeah. Magic school bus. Is that bus. where you saw it, Alex? On the magic school bus? You have to be pulling it out of your own head. You can't steal. Well, he gets all the information from somewhere. He yes. doesn't just arrive at Okay, his head. you really sit at home and watch the magic school bus? Do you have kids? That's when I I have a nine year old. Okay. But no, I was when I was a kid, I just had fond memories. Like I told you, man, Bobby's world. I remember all these. Well, it's things. good to see you again. Oh my goodness! There he is. That is so wild. Wow. I'm back to my childhood right Get now. Get the water bear off the bus. Okay. Okay. One go more. ahead. One You're more. Okay. Uh, do y'all know what a cow ant is? You ever heard of a cow ant? A cow ant? Cow ant. Look it up. Cow ant. We cow have cow ant. We have these in South Carolina. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I drink cow ant milk. Okay. Oh. Do you see and this? They're so Fluffy. hard. They're so hard to to milk. Yes. This is actually not an ant. It is a wingless wasp. Okay. But they're called cow ants. And look at that thing there. That is a mean son of a gun right there. Have you ever been stung by a cow ant? Yes. Wow. Probably the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life. It swelled my toe up really bad. They are very, very, very painful. More than having a patient's phlegm in your eye and, and getting that horrible case of pink eye. Yes, that was more painful. Yes. The cow ant. Yes. So you were stung by a cow at home? Not a cow. A cow ant. Well, yes. I've been charged by semantic. a cow. So, uh, really? yeah, How much? So I, I figure uh, <laughs> three dollars. Yes. Uh, All right. Well, that it sparked another fact because he said cow ant. You sparked my son. Uh, he you just sparked wants to win. Go ahead. No, he just wants to win. Go two, ahead. It's, he said two animals because cow ant, but that's one. And I think that another fact is a bear cat smells like Fritos. Bear cat. What's did a bear you know cat? that? <laughs> bear cat. I did not. That's a good one there. Wow. Look, I'll let you wow. get that in there. Well, that's a bear cat right there, and that smells like Fritos. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I know if I'm ever in the bushes. Mm -hmm. And I smell Fritos. It's a bear cat. Are bear cats dangerous? They look cute. Uh, that's probably when they are dangerous. Are they dangerous? They look small. <sighs> Do they bite? Do they sting? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't. I can't hear you. Have it I, I've cat. played with one and it didn't bite me. <laughs> he played. <laughs> he played with they're, a bear cat. Aggressive when harassed. They I I wasn't harassed. Well, wait, 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 Kyle. Or defecate on a threat. They may urinate or defecate on a threat. Well, so but, will we. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, so they're not dangerous. They're Especially fine. when well, I'm drunk. If it doesn't succeed, then they bear their teeth. But they don't bite. Wait, it either shits itself or bears <laughs> its teeth? Well, and they snarl. That's like mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom doesn't smell like Fritos. No, but the other parts. <laughs> what? The other things. Wow. <laughs> All right. This is a different kind of uh, conversation. Oh, what are you this doing? It's very different than we've ever What are you had. doing? You want to come in? <laughs> oh, oh by now the way. you're going to focus on <laughs> the guest? <laughs> now Thank you're going to focus on the guest? Appreciate it. He's been here for like 15 minutes. Yeah. Hey, I was just going to let you uh, just going to let you leave on the fact that the inland typen is the most venomous snake in the world. The inland type type typen. Yeah. Type in. I type love in. that they are both just yeah. trying to get. Yeah. We've been done yeah. like two, yeah. like two or three facts yeah. ago. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can shut one? the door now. No, you're done. Shut the door. <laughs> you're done. You're done. Wow, that was exciting. Uh, an animal fact off. Yeah, go fact yourself. Ever had that on your show before? Never. No, First never. Time. We've First had time. snakes and lizards. Oh wow! And love it's all on the show at the same time. But we've never had the fact off that you guys just brought. To I like this. This should be like a new segment. Where people learn things. I don't know. I'm always amazed by what we can see. Do you want to see some stuff that we were looking at this week? Like when we knew that you were coming in, we wanted to just uh, fill up stuff. Are you, are you religious? I was raised Southern Baptist. 
my mama, you know, my family. So we are Southern Baptists. So were you, um, uh, speaking of uh, Baptist, were you baptized? Yes, sir. Okay, so I, I, because I was looking up things, Southern Baptist, and I don't, you know, you and I come from very different cultures. So I was looking up baptism, and I saw this. Look at this. Tell me what you think of this. We could do it with sound, too. Well, look at this. Is this, bat I don't know. He baptizes him, but the microphone wire isn't. So he just electrocuted, shocked Jesus into her body. I guess. Yeah, so there was an electrocution at wow. the same time. That's why I'm not negating or besmirching or saying anything against baptism, wow. but do we did you have a microphone when you were baptized? So imagine okay. being baptized right. and then immediately you're you're seeing Jesus. That's really powerful. Like that. Just Let's think see about one more that. time again. One more time now, again. Now, why do you want to watch this video? Yeah. No, because I want to see, like, baptize. What, he's, this isn't a funny video. Why? That is wow. The alert it says. This is horrible. <laughs> wow. I wonder and if she's all right. Right there. Right there. Dang it. She needed a third responder. Yeah. I'm sure there was one. They came. There, there was no, like, you're, you're stuck. Do it again. I want to show there you. There was five response. of them around there. I want to show you. Oh, my God. There was the, the third responder. One more time. You, there's, there's the baptism. Is that a she? I think it's a he. He's up, and now he's in. And you see those people gather around? And then I come. The there, third responder. There, it no, doesn't, no, oh, that's there, not how I'm I thought third. that was you right there. That's me in the white shirt. The guy, yeah. Well, everybody's got a white shirt. I just want to know who the sound technician was, because I guarantee you he ain't got his job no more after that one. Really? <laughs> I thought he, caught, he captured it perfectly. I thought he captured, that was, uh, wow. That's a bad way to get baptized. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good way to get baptized, a bad way to die. Well, that's the thing. If you believe, you know, if you believe in that, then at least you did it and then, you know what I'm saying? No, you he were saved Better right late before. than never because... You were saved right before the end. Yeah. Most people are baptized like a, as a baby, right? No, my that's husband, a different My religion. husband just got baptized. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. My that husband was just baptized like a month ago. Just a month ago? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, like two months ago. It, like, that's like, I, I, I'm a <laughs> Jew. It's not like, I'm, I'm not looking to get circumcised next week. <laughs> that's different though. One's yes. dunking in water and one is cutting your penis. Like a lot of people don't choose to do that. I would imagine what we just watched, that guy would have rather cut off the tip of his penis <laughs> than get dunked in water and electrocuted immediately. Yeah, because he, he, I don't want, oh man. I just want, but no, and, and you can know. watch it one more time? No. In God, our religion, funny. you can be baptized at any time. Anytime. What? Anytime, like uh, it, it don't matter. Is what this age a good time when the the wire when the microphone is no, right there? No, that's the worst time. Yeah, really. Is this yeah. on? What is this even on? happened? It is looked it? like the guy like pushed his head into the microphone. What I think that's part of the religion. You don't know what. And religion then it that fell is. into the water. Yeah. Well, because no, I think the sound person pushed it into the water so that we can hear what's going. You don't want to lose it like that. So you go, oh, this is a great moment. We're not going to hear it. Move the mic into the water so yeah. we can hear the whole thing. Sure, that'll hold up in court. <laughs> do we know? Uh, do we know what happened to the guy, Kyle? Oh, somebody's coming to say something. Yeah, his manager told him it was tomorrow. What the guy who just got baptized? They're laughing He's in the back the <laughs> at an inside joke. <laughs> What's well, the joke? That was an answer that. to a question, not one we've asked. <laughs> yeah. His like, manager said the baptism is tomorrow. Has a manager? What is the deal here? <laughs> the fuck what? was that? No, what just no happened? No one thinks this joke is funnier than the guy who told it. Rich, why? <laughs> why I don't it? get it. <laughs> I don't get it either. Oh, Aaron is coming tomorrow. I thought you were asking what happened to the guy, Aaron. <laughs> wow, he just came in at the wrong time. Wow. <laughs> well, all right. Well, anyway, uh, if you're... Tune in tomorrow. Yeah. Because a guy named Aaron is going to be here. Yeah. But Aaron was not the guy getting baptized or electrocuted. <laughs> is that is that uh, true? Is Aaron getting baptized? Is that the guy's name? I'm trying to understand what's going on. Kyle! What? <laughs> what, what is what going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that fella is probably Venezuelan or something. He, he ain't no way his name's Rich? Kyle. No, oh, the dude, Kyle? got electrocuted. Oh, <laughs> I'm on one thing. Everybody else is apparently on another. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no one's on the same. You page. know what's weird? <laughs> that we spent the beginning of this uh, uh, podcast giving out really what I believe is valuable and interesting information, and then we've devolved into mm -hmm. more information, but it's not interesting. Nor do anybody know what we're talking about. Oh, you know what is interesting? What? We could play that clip um, about the difference between women and men's farts. Do you know what the difference is? 
Like, do you have a oh, feeling? Oh, of course he does. He's a respiratory therapist. <laughs> wrong, wrong end. Yeah. What? Wrong. wrong. I'm, isn't that still like it's the air? Like, isn't it as a, th as a respiratory therapist, is it not like whether you are expelling air or intaking air, does it matter what orifice that comes yes, in? Yes. Yes. Because I deal with the trachea and the lungs. The air coming from the stomach is the digestive system. I don't miss. Can I tell you something? That. On, on eight, uh, I dealt with a guy who, whose farting was his talent. And I watched him before he um, created the fart. I watched him going, <laughs> taking in air. He was mm -hmm. able to take in air and then pass that. Do you know how that? Pushing it into a stomach. How do you do that? It's a, just a special talent, I guess. It is. It and is. I'm a good judge of talent. But you can you could take the air that goes in and then push it out. Yes. Yeah. It, it, women can do that too. Apparently. Yeah, with different parts of their body. Oh, like oh, a queef. queef. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you brought the family together. What do you want to say, Alex? I don't yeah, hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I don't hear you. I just want to go back to baptism. Okay, go okay. ahead. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it, wow. Wow. This is horrifying. Yeah. It, I think I would rather get just my kids circumcised. Aaron will be here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was not Aaron, by the way. That was the baby was not Aaron either. So I don't know because I'm a Jew. Baptism apparently is incredibly dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did it when I was a child. I was lighter. So he was a big feller doing it. And he just kind of dunked me and picked me up. It well, was that baby was definitely light. Yeah, I felt like he just didn't have a good hold on there. Can we see that again? No, why do you keep wanting to Well, watch? because I just want to make sure I... Oh! And then he's like, oh. <laughs> oh, well, the guy. Yeah. Slippery kid, couldn't help it. Is that what happened with the other guy? Slippery. I don't know why. Let's see the, uh, the electrocution. No more. Oh, you, want to you don't know which one to show me. So many, there's so many. I don't want to watch this again. This is music. Somebody's playing the piano. So, Close the side. Oh! Oh! And then I would imagine... Oh! oh. oh. Okay. Well, that's baptism. Yeah. Wow. So what were we talking about? Farts. Farts. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, the, the guy that you know. That well, what's this? A uh, little, have, little horsey. Oh, oh, ah, oh goodness! Ah. This is not good. Why what? are we playing all these? What kind of baptism is that? I came on the right day. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? What was that? that what horse did you just put on? What? 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 Did not like that child for some reason. Oh, I would beg to differ. I would say he was hugging it. No, that child did not like that horse <laughs> for good reason. Wow. That is not a good thing. To show. That one was just called horse stump. That's a good name for it. Why, Why did you put that on? Why did you put clips? that on? Why would you put that on? It was just here on the desktop. <laughs> You're just going through stuff on the what desktop? Are you doing? Random I, stuff I, I, I sent those files <laughs> before I came here. So what is the point of that? It's just shock and awe, man. Shock and awe. And I really did. <laughs> I have nothing to do. Oh, what are we doing now? I don't know. What's happening here? He farted in a balloon? He's going to suck it down his throat. So they're th talking about How respiratory do you fill therapy. Up a you can't do farting. that. There what? ain't no way. How do you fill up a balloon farting? They couldn't do. It. There's no way. He, there's no way he put that on his sphincter and yeah. filled that thing up on top of the pants too. Yeah. Look. No. How does he? Then where did it? That's amazing. Did, That's a talent, though. Is that is that like helium? I just I just sucked in my own farts. I just sucked in my own farts. There's no way. There's he no had it in his pants. Him. What? He had it in his pants. Had what in his pants? The balloon. Yeah, but there's something there that he. But you that can't. Up with. Have you ever tried to blow up a balloon? How do you blow it up with your ass? It's, it's so hard to blow up a balloon. You can't blow up a balloon. It's not even near his hole. Pardon me. It's not near his hole. It was near. His, it was not enough, near. Enough with the technical jargon. Talk to us like we it don't was know. Was not near his anal sphincter. There is. He, he, he was like way up. Is up there at another the top. sphincter besides an anal sphincter? I think there is, actually. I think there really is. I don't know what it is, though. If you have another sphincter, uh, feel free to comment yes. and like and subscribe. We'd love to know about you your sphincter. You could also send us an email. Yeah, or a picture. <laughs> no, I get in trouble with anal pictures. Oh, okay. I don't know. You can't. We don't 
push the camera up there, but you see that? I posted that on uh, TikTok. I saw. <laughs> you and the entire world. Yep. And I got, yeah. I got almost got canceled. Why is that a bad thing? Is that the sphincter? We're Would you do that? Would I do that? Would, Would you, you post that? I mean, that ain't my on style, Facebook? but I've seen way worse. I think it's because of your audience, Dad. What is my audience? Well, you could tell they what my audience is. They don't appreciate um, prolapse. Yeah. Oh, but they'll like a kid getting stomped by a horse. No, yep. I don't think you should have. No. Or somebody I'm not being baptized, being electrocuted, or the dropping of a baby. This no. is not. I want to just say right now that the people behind the scenes have. Uh, <laughs> Taken control. I have nothing. I'm seeing a lot of this for the first time. I said to them, they said, what do you want to do today? I said, this guy, Ginger Bill, he's really funny. He's got a huge following. Let's just talk. And if you have anything to add, feel free to add. This is what you added? Oh, there's another one. What is this? Oh. oh. Why? Oh. Why did you find all these? You know, Why? That, these are not good. That's the, the running of the bull where the bull, mm -hmm. like yeah. if, if you were going to have a running at the, of the bulls, at an assisted living. <laughs> Would your grandma do that? Can I see that one again? That one at the running of the bulls. That one doesn't. Uh, Look, okay. that bull does knew he, too. Look at does it. Does she know? Is that Look a sheer heat? Whoa. That's a uh, half uh, backflip oh. with a uh, triple gainer. Third what? responder. I saw. Uh, I didn't you see, saw let's the see third again. Yeah, man. Let's it see took again. him. It took it. Watch. He hesitantly made it there. Watch. No, it. he didn't Over. even make it there. I think look. he just walked, walked up and, and looked. Now, yeah. Look, he's not even running. Oh, look! He points at the bull. Like, what did you do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> why, why would you do that? <laughs> to get the bull. Have you ever been? Have you ever had like a slow walker ahead of you, and you just want to? You can't get to the left. Oh, you yeah. Can't get to the right. Yeah, I've, I've wanted to be. Do. Wanted to be the bull quite a few times. Really? <laughs> that that is, but that's uh, that's. Um, I don't understand that. No, I but I mean, why is a bull just there? Mm. Why just one cow? Like, wh where is you know the bull is saying? What the hell is this elderly person? Why is yeah. he just there? That's what I'm saying. This is a dirt road. This is where I live. Move. Where in a town would you just Ooh. find a senior citizen and a cow hanging out in the same? Plaza? I would. I would uh, imagine this is nowhere near the uh, Brea Improv. Just no, not, sir. And I've never no. been there, but I don't think this is in that vicinity. No, nah, it looks like something be closer to my house. Do you live in like real rural? You don't live in a rural. I'm out in the country. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like, like how many people live in your town? Uh, in the town, I think like three thousand. And you're out of town. Yes, I'm out in the woods. You don't want to be amongst the. Uh... No, sir. I like being out. You really live in the woods? Yes, I have, and I don't know if this is a lot for here. Like, I have, I have thirty two acres I live on. My parents have 20, but then, like, like that's just the norm. I have a friend that's got 1,500 acres he lives out on. Like, we this is we live way out in the bushes. You're, like, a, so you live out, like, can I, and you have a nine-year-old. Yes, sir. So, uh, Halloween. Mm-hmm. It's got to be hell for her. She's out for, like, two and a half weeks and gets an apple. Yeah, it's, it's a boy. Um, but he, I take him to town to do his trick-or-treating. You know, I socialize him. He gets, he's the only child, but I take him places so he ain't a, like a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> you know? doesn't just have him. Yeah, like, I don't just keep in, him in, in a basement. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you would, so, so you would go, it's Halloween, dress up, and then you drop him in the middle of town? Yeah. Dress like a... A lot of people do. A lot. Oh, Dad, what's wrong with you? That's not that what's weird. What's wrong with me? He's got one child in the bushes. I do. But, I mean, we, we you know, we grew up like, like uh, you know, country folk. What did your parents you do? You grew up different than I did, too. You I were grew in, up an, in apartment, an apartment. So which you was easy. Went... I didn't even go out for Halloween. I just took the elevator. Yeah, so you just bam, 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 right off the elevator. That's what I did. Right there. Did not even outside. No, we... Um, I didn't have to wear a coat. Where did you, you grow up? Toronto, Canada. I didn't have to wear a coat for Halloween. It's cold in October in, in Canada. I lived in an apartment building. I shared a room with my brother, and I would dress up. I wouldn't even really dress up. I would just go door to door and ask for candies. Wow, no, nah, see, man, we, we would go to a mill village. My mom worked in a cotton mill. In a cotton mill? A cotton mill. Okay. When I was growing up. And so there was a mill village, you know, because you have the mill, and then the town would be built around the mill because that's where all the economy a was. A mill village? Yes, sir. So it's an actual village? Yes, a little cotton. I mean, you walk in, it's a, it's a little flat, and then it goes up, and it's a hill, and there's just houses stacked, little mill houses. Is there a is there a village idiot? Is there such a thing as an idiot in a village? Oh, I've yeah. never I've never met anybody that actually worked in a village. Like yeah. I really came from the village. A village was something like when I read you stories mm -hmm. and then they went to the village. It was never I've never met anybody from a that well, you don't even live in the village. Yeah, you that's live where outside I had to the go. village. That's where I had to go to see civilization. <laughs> yes. 
to be wow. civilized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's how we trick or treated, go house to house to house. Well, that's how most people do it, but in a village. Yes, sir. A real deal village here and in your, America. Your mother worked in a cotton mill. Cotton mill. And what was her job at the mill? Uh, I really don't know. I just know she worked at a cotton mill. You know, that's what You never she said, did. Mom, what do you do there? No, nah, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Didn't care. Yeah. Is she still alive? Yes. So let's phone her and find out what she did. Yeah, she is 63 years old. She's younger than me. Yeah. Yeah, she's way younger yeah. than me. Does she still work at the mill? No, she uh, she actually went to work at the local powerhouse. She's at a powerhouse. Yeah, now. she's a meter reader. Now you know. Now what, you know I, what she does. You know what she does yeah. at the powerhouse, but you didn't yep. know what she did at the at the mill. Nope, nope. I was young, you know, and then she went over and she just reads meters. Well, that's going house to house in the village. Yep. I what know what does? that is. We have that. <laughs> we have that here. We have a meter reader. Does she is, is that when your mother is a meter? Is that a meter maid? Not a meter maid. She don't ride around in a little cart. She checks people's actual power, like how much they use. But have you ever hired anybody? Has she ever hired anybody to clean her house? No. Because she's a meter reader, Mm -hmm. and if she had a maid, it would be a meter reader maid. (laughs) Right? Yeah. Yeah, she ain't, no, yeah, she she, she don't do that. She cleans. You know, them southern women like to clean their own house. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, and and, uh, do you have any siblings? I was an only child. That's um, not what I asked. Do you I, have any siblings? I, for 16 years, and then I, I, my mom got remarried, and I had there was a one-year-old and three-year-old, so I consider them my brothers. And plus, my daddy uh, was really good at spreading his love, you know, my real daddy. And he, I have a lot of brothers that I probably don't know about from him. Hmm. So yes. you do have, have siblings. Have you met them? So you do have siblings. See, I wasn't, wasn't well, such a... Well, I met one when he was 18, first time I ever met him. When he really? Was yes. How did he find you? Because you were a big star on no. on Facebook. Pulled up to a gas station. <laughs> a lot like, of people do yeah. twenty three and me. Yep. But where How you're did from? You know that you were related. Yeah, yeah. He, Cause he, he just he said, Adam. I said, Oh well, we can. Ginger. Yeah, yeah, Ginger. I was like, Yeah. He's like, I'm your brother. I was like, There ain't no way. And then I met his mama, and she was like, Yeah, me and your daddy had a fling, and I had him. And this. Did he look like you? Not at all. He was a ginger. Right. Uh, but, yeah, it was. It was it was it because was my daddy said, yeah, that is, yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and I also have a brother who's just like my daddy, and he has like nine kids all over the United States. Just everywhere. So you went from my question, are you, uh, do you have any siblings, where you said no to we've, uh, in the last maybe minute, we've identified over <laughs> 30, <laughs> 30 yeah. half well. quarter Wow, went from no, that's like that baptism. It goes, yeah, it yeah. goes, oh, it's a baptism, and then Why you would it be fuck, a quarter? you're shocked. Why would it be a quarter sibling? It would be a half sibling, mm-hmm. no matter what. No, because he said that the that the the um, half sibling mm-hmm. is like his daddy. No, he's not like my daddy. <laughs> what? I mean, I know I live in the South, but my, it's, my half sibling is... Like your father, he's been spreading oh, his seed. Yes, I thought you were saying that he was like my daddy. Like my half sibling. No, I didn't like say, did you fuck your brother? <laughs> I did not. I didn't say you fucked your brother. Okay. I said, you said that that sibling was like your father and he is spreading his seed. Yes, sir. So when each one of those seeds is a quarter. No, is a half nephew or now niece. We're doing math. Yes, I'm just an uncle it's to a lot a of kids. It's just a nephew and niece. That's all. I'm a half uncle. It's not I'm a only quarter child. sibling. You don't get quarter siblings. If you're half sibling... Uh, procreates then you the get, next one's a quarter no it's not another sibling it's a it's, it's still a half <laughs> it's a nephew it's a nephew or niece quarter no <laughs> well to comment on that too yep. i'm learning so much it's like a whole from the same country but it's like a different culture right? it is totally is it yeah this is a different world for me here when you're here in, in la do you feel like the culture shock do you feel i i don't feel like you're that different because i think in la we have a lot of people that live, we have a big farming community, mm-hmm. right? You yeah. you went to school out when we, she comes from, uh, she went to school out in Northern California. And where did I pass? It was, it's the garlic capital of the world. Oh, uh, um, now I forget what it's called. I don't know, but you know, the garlic capital of the world, they grow garlic here. You know, the garlic capital world is here in the state of California somewhere. So it's out in this rural farmland. And I've stopped. Gilroy. To, Gil- Gilroy. 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 See, and then a, also you drove past oh, the artichoke, here it is. Gilroy, California. artichoke capital too. Is, is uh, centrally located at the southern gateway 
to the Silicon Valley. Well, it is. Uh, I'm telling you that gate is closed because uh, the, the it's it's very rural. And, and it then, smells like garlic when you drive through it. It's the garlic capital. Hello. But and no, they have garlic we, ice cream. Wouldn't it be weird if it smelled like nutmeg and you drove by the ga <laughs> garlic capital? Northern yeah. California is just all farms. Yeah. Just a bunch of farms. Yeah. So I used to drive to visit well, my parents. San Francisco is not a farm. Uh, from Northern California down to Southern <laughs> California. And most of the drive was just farmland. Yeah. Well, I think it's probably not a culture shock for y'all mm -hmm. to go to my place. But me to come here, it's a world of different. Yeah, I know. This village that you're in right now is crazy yes this is really crazy i think this is crazier than where you're from i think where you're from is probably the norm mm -hmm. that's what humans are like and then here because i'm from canada and it was a it was like a little bit of a culture shock coming here even from i come from a big, big city like toronto but this was this was a culture shock yes it is very different I, i'm talking about this california you guys are from you're rural aren't you Kyle, are you rural? Aren't you in the city though? You were from the city. Oh, are you? You you were from the suburb. You a guys suburb. are from Colorado. Yeah, but big city. Suburb of a city. Yeah, but outside of that <laughs> suburb. <laughs> uh, it's pretty suburban. Say you don't know anything. Yeah. Say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 He knows people. <laughs> I, want, I just <laughs> told him I know people, <laughs> and we have. Yeah. I grew up on a farm. All right. Yeah, I told him. Yeah, I knew it. Believe it. I did. Too. Oh, one yeah. No, you acres. look like a farmer, dude. No yeah. doubt about it. A one and a half acre wheat farm. Yes. It was one and a half acres. And every year they used to harvest their one and a half acres mm -hmm. and take it to. Pick it by hand. Well, it's one and a half acres. And they were to it turn that into what? Like almost 60 bucks worth of wheat. Wow. On one and a half acres, you get 60 bucks. Have you ever worked a farm? I grew up, uh, and, and okay, so when I grew up, I grew up in a small place called Wilkesburg, South Carolina. I lived, Wilkes? I lived Wilkesburg. Wilkesburg. Uh, yeah, and, and, and I, was, I lived with my nanny and my mama and across from us. When you, when you make this, uh, do that thing again with your hand, with your nanny and your mama, is mm -hmm. it, was this indicative of the thing you lived in? Yeah, it was, it was like about that big. <laughs> you know, probably it, it was a little smaller than probably what we're in right now. So your your uh, your mom. This would be your mom, and this yeah. would be your grandmother. Yeah, and where would right you there. be in in relation to your? Uh, Usually right there or out here, out there. That's outside there. Point closer to the inside, so here. I know exactly where you are. Right there. No, but keep your hand like that. We're getting geographically. Shot of it. We're getting shots of these, so people at home understand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, go. Yep. Yeah. So you come from this. Yeah, that's exactly where I come from. <laughs> that's so where you, everybody comes from, actually. I know. How do you know? Hmm. You didn't get the birds and the bees talk. Nope. Go but the, the, uh, my neighbors were two brothers and two sisters in their 60s. They were farmers. They had a farm. They'd never been married. But that didn't stop them. Ah. Uh, hmm? Yeah. But so, yeah, I, I grew up chasing chickens, and they had bulls. Now, I never got what happened when to that lady. When you caught the chicken. Mm hmm Nope. No birds and the bees with the chicken, if that's what you're getting to. You've never fucked the chicken. I have not. I feel like that's an accomplishment. <laughs> well, just, just got the thumbs up. Yep. Yeah. Shouldn't. I was waiting for somebody to come to the mic to tell me when he'll be here. Doesn't matter. Tomorrow. Okay. So you had you had a brother and a sister, the, the brother and sister team living next door. Yes. Yes. All that's kind of rural. Oh man, yeah. It, the, the, these roads were not paved. This is like a road now that still ain't paved, and it has the grass has grown up. It is so. When the kids grow up next door to somebody like that or people like that, are there stories like hearsay? Well, you know, I mean, you hear things like, uh, "Well, I mean, they ain't never had a girlfriend. Ain't none of them ever had a boyfriend." So, you know, what they doing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody's got to have love in their life. So, uh, yeah. Stories. Uh, Y'all probably don't get that out in California, do you? Don't know. <laughs> they make movies. Yeah. They make movies. Wrong turn. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you promoting? What do you want to promote? What do you want people to know about Ginger Billy? Well, You're actually really funny. We were watching your uh, YouTube videos. I love the stuff you build. Thank you. I love the stories you tell. Also, the uh, what do you do with the vehicles after you've made the YouTube? Like, what's where is that uh, your? Uh, He's asking if he can have one. Your your lawnmower or your tiny 
Tesla? I um I actually the Tesla I sold. You did? Yes, I sell them and then I'll use them to like uh, help animal rescues because we do a lot with dog rescues and we foster dogs and stuff like that. So I'll sell some of them and then use it to help dog rescues and stuff like that. Um, Commendable. That's wonderful. Yeah, but um, like that little Ford for Stevie you saw that was turned into a lawnmower. Um, it wow, actually, and a tattoo. Yes, I have the tattoo of it. Yeah. It was so you build them and then you draw them on yourself. I do. I do. Wow. <laughs> yeah, to always remember them. Because that Ford for Steve there, actually, I turned into six or seven different things. Really? Yes. I, I you know, I have a budget. Uh, so I bought a $1,200 car, and I turned it into six or seven different things. And then it finally got to the point where it just would not run anymore because the uh, last thing I turned it into was an airplane. And Did it get off the ground? Uh, three feet. Three feet. I put a but big that's old, amazing. Yes. Yes, yes, I guess. Uh, how did you, how did, how, how long was it three feet in the air? Uh, half a second. <laughs> it was more like this and a dive. But with you in it? Yes. Is that a, is that a video? It is. Okay. It the is. Fort Festiva yes. plane. Let's see. It is this. a, uh, yes. It's like, I, I like watching the Wright brothers at the beginning of their um, career. You are, they had more flight time than I did. Well, you're the wrong brother. Yes. I yeah, am. We, uh, we, they, we, they had me beat. Here it is, right there. Where? where? There it is. This is it. That's the Ford Fiesta. It's that was its to... send off there. Okay. And it's going down the runway. No, it's, the... It's, it's, this is me showing it off. Well, what a show off you are. Okay. And yeah. then. And I don't know why I thought that a hang glider that would hold a 200 pound person would hold my car. Once again, thank you for flying with Spirit Airlines. Spirit. Prepare for takeoff. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't do well. This was there like three go. attempts, and I finally broke it. Whoa! <laughs> was that, wait, was that it? Yeah, no. There's a there's a little better one. My wing fell off. Oh, all right. No, go on up. What? Go on where? I'm telling him to go. There's there's one better. Here we go. You hear me? Look at listen how fast I'm going. Forty miles an hour. See, there we go. That's your hope. Oh, that is yep. good. No, but that's not reality. Oh. Let's see what the reality is. Here we go. <laughs> that's all. Half Wait, a second. But, but that's not flying. You're going over a, you know, like a berm. That a is berm. falling with style. You just did a jump with wings. No, that's flying. It's, no, it's not. When you have wings, wings, it's flying. No. No. Tell that to a chicken. I thought that, too, when I jumped off of our balcony. You thought she was flying, correct? Yeah, with no. a blanket. No. It's okay. It got like 1.8 million views, so I'll tell Oh, you. it's good. Oh, the, the, good. The subscriber counts are flying. Yes, your popularity is flying. Yes, sir. Your uh, talent is soaring. Thank you. Um, but but that Ford Fiesta, not flying. It's okay. I can take that. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm a talent judge. <laughs> oh, and you I are have, that. And I have to be honest. Yes. I can't lie and go, wow, look, he flew. It, it was not impressive. It and I can't, I can't promote that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the man, I, I, I don't want to even say that to the viewers. The man doesn't fly. He can't fly. He didn't build a, he didn't build. You were, uh, I'll help you. You were airborne. That's, was, you were that's airborne. the correct statement. Then since you said I can't fly, the next thing you'll see, it will fly. Because I'm I, taking this as a challenge. I love that. This is the be ultimate challenge. Be careful, though. Mm -hmm. Be me? careful. Yeah, y'all no. see, y'all see me here yeah. soon no, in the not news. You. What, why shouldn't I yeah. be careful? You, you should don't... be careful too, but you're not the one trying to like. No, but build it's always important. Fly. It's it's well, that's the problem. I'm He's just building shit, and shit don't fly. I'm just glad that somebody cares about my health. <laughs> I do. You be careful. No, because yeah. you can end up. The only problem about flying you is you got in a bad down. accident, then you need a tracheotomy, then somebody's trying to help you with your tracheotomy. There might not be a third response. Then you blow a loogie oh, in their no. eye, and they end up looking like a pirate. And then next thing I know, I'm looking up, and I see you just standing there. Oh, I'm behind the first and second. Yeah. A third. But I don't, I don't think the person, you just know. I'm an essence. I feel it. Just like that. Lady. You're saying feel, right? Yeah. Like okay, I thought so. That lady felt that shot. I, I don't even right. hear your accent anymore. Yeah. It's I've been in L.A. for like five minutes. It's changing. Do you find it you're changing your accent? Mm -hmm. Do you, where you grew up um, in the village? Yes. Did you guys have a different dialect or language? Because I had a friend when I went to school that was from Boonesville. That was from a very, very little town. Yes. And she said they had their own dialect and their own language that was like just from where she grew up. Not really. I no. mean, I think I think uh, we're Southern, you know, but like now you go on down to Charleston, you got like the Gullah yeah. people. 
you know, and then it's very strong, like in Louisiana and stuff like that. They've got to, but but where we're, I think we just have more of a just, just a, an accent, and we do just have a our southern accent. yeah, and we have our sayings, yeah. right? You know? And they're usually analogies, right? Yes. They're usually that is that is uh, cheaper than a you know, or that is stronger yeah. than a yeah. That that's is, uh, what is like uh, something like tits on a boar hog. Useless as tits on a boar hog. But th- here's I, saying, I've heard like that, that one. Yeah. But the truth is, if you're living with your sister. Get yourself a boar hog, and then if you're if you're touching the boar hog's tits, then you don't have to bother your sister. So that's not useless. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't think that's a no. Funny I'm just pointing out. Joke. Pardon me. I don't think it's a funny or appropriate joke. Why? It's just not. Why? I think it's inf- it's informative that you don't have to. It's educational. Sexually assault your sister. I'm saying so you don't. That's what the use of a boar hog with. Uh, does a boar hog have tits? They don't. They have, you know, it's a boar. So it's a male. So it has a wiener. But I guess it would have tits. Yeah, I mean, I guess, oh, well, we're men. We got tits and wieners too. So <sighs> that's an animal fact. I don't know. Oh, I think my son. Where's just Mr. Won. Animal Expert at when I we think need my him? My son just won. Huh? <laughs> This one didn't count. What is it? Give me another saying. I want to f- try to figure out the sayings. Give me another saying. Hmm. Caught me on the spot. The animal facts didn't? No, man. No, that's... Let's see. Finding siblings as an only child didn't? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is that? It's, it's hotter than a hooker's doorknob on payday? You get that? No. It's yeah. oh. hotter... Then a hooker's, hooker's doorknob, yes. Hot on payday. On payday. Because I get it. Tell me why. Tell me what, what did that mean. Because if someone gets paid, then they have the money to go to a hooker, finally, which they didn't when they didn't get paid. Look at her. And wait, but, but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Uh-oh. How do you know it isn't like... Um, uh, one of those swinging doors or a barn door, you know, where you can just slide it? Like, like, why do you why have, to, have to, like, if you want to go get laid and you got like 50 bucks or you want to get laid or you want to get blown, why are you so sure that there's a doorknob leading to this uh, business? I mean, how do you know there's not a boar hog with tits on the other side of that door that you might want to? You know, you don't judge somebody by their looks. It doesn't really <laughs> matter. It's just like. <laughs> I feel like you guys, like, before we close this out, we should have a saying that we come up with. Okay. Go ahead. This episode. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> this Ginger Billy is uh, is our guest today, and uh, mm-hmm. and I'm telling you, I'm thrilled that you're here. Thank and, you. And um, I'm going to subscribe you. to your. I'm going to do YouTube. I don't. I don't know that I do that much Facebook. Am I on Facebook? I think I am on Facebook. This episode was more fun than. Uh, than a. Uh, Twister game on Saturday afternoon. That's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> but no, no, no. See, what, what is that called? <laughs> this this episode was more fun than playing Twister in a nudist colony. Yeah, yeah. No, because that would be like a Twister in a nudist colony would be more fun, right? Than this. No, it wouldn't. No, th- no. we're saying how much fun. No, you this gotta say, ga- say this. This episode was yes. it's even more fun yes, than, than naked that. Pa- people playing Twister. In a nudist colony. Yes. In a nudist colony. Then this, it was kind of like the way to, it's like nursing on a tit of a boar hog. Like this episode was like nursing on the tit of a boar hog while the neighbor's screwing his sister. Wow. Why? Why, Dad? Because you want to bring it back. You want this all to be like a, a like a. I'm like trying a clean to not package. have you <laughs> bring you it wanna back. You want to bring it, you want to sew it all together. How, we want people to go, how does he do it? How does he do it? Mm-hmm. That, that was that's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just, we bring it all again. This is, uh, this brought, is. Brought it together. We did. We started with your, uh, do you know the song, What Us Pussy? Did you sing it? Or were you just singing I was, it? I was just, just I was doing just, that just, Yeah, just, just, no. It's Cardi B's single now. No. I don't, I don't, I can't handle that. That's what she said. Mm-mm. Can't. I don't think Won't. I'm her type of feller. <laughs> Just awkward silence.
we waiting on something? Did I say something wrong? No. Good. I don't think I did. 